lockdown is over. I'm back. <laughs> Lockdown is finally over and for the first time in a year I've been able to get my hair cut. I'm gonna be honest, it's taken a weight off my shoulders. Balance. I've been gone for a month and that was the, the joke I decided to lead with. Take from that what you will. I have been gone for a while on this channel and I'm really quite sorry. Uh, <laughs> I had a lot of university exams so there wasn't really a lot I could do. I just, I just didn't have the time to make videos. But I'm back and I've got two videos coming out this week. Not one but two. I know. I never do things by halves. Unless it's my sexuality. In which case, you know, they just can't pick a gender. If you ever do find yourself uh, missing my face in between uploads, here is my Instagram and here is my Twitch. I stream on Twitch most days, so it'd be really nice to see some of you guys there. And you know, my Instagram is full of just incredibly, super interesting inserts of my life. Recent classics include a video of me uncontrollably laugh crying and a video of a cow. Um, it's purely unmissable content. Okay, so my whole computer just died. I don't know who I annoyed, but I'm sorry. This is like the hundredth time I've tried to film this video. It's just not... <laughs> it's just not happening for me. Now, I've always considered myself incredibly lucky when it comes to my skin. Throughout my teenage years and even now, I very rarely had breakouts and when I did, they went away pretty quickly. However, in the last couple of months, for whatever reason, my skin has been breaking out constantly. And whilst these breakouts still aren't acne, I have been incredibly self-conscious about it. So I went online and I started searching for ways to help improve your skin that wasn't what I was already doing. I had a good skincare routine. On paper, I was doing everything I was supposed to be doing, but it wasn't helping. And that's when I came across LED light masks. Now, being someone who's not very well versed in the beauty industry, when I saw this, there were several things that went through my head. The first being that this looks like a really bad Iron Man cosplay. And the second, how on earth are lights going to make my skin better? And I wasn't the only one confused. When you look on Google Trends, the amount of people searching for LED light masks has gone up astronomically in the last year. Part of that is because celebrities like Chrissy Teigen and Suki Waterhouse have posted images of themselves on social media wearing these masks. Now don't get me wrong, I love celebrities as much as the next gal, but you know, ever since Gwyneth Paltrow tried to convince us all that we, you know, needed a candle that smelled like her vagina, I've had my doubts about, you know, the, the general decision-making processes that celebrities have. Because not only do these masks look insane, they often come with astronomical price tags. There are versions of these masks that can cost thousands of dollars. And I can't lie, after having seen this, a part of me began to get incredibly skeptical about the effectiveness of these masks. Celebrity endorsement plus astronomically high prices. I mean, maybe I'm just scarred from Firefest, but I can't think of a time that those two things have gone well together. So I started doing some research and I wanted to see if there were studies that were not funded by the people selling the masks that could objectively prove at least a correlation between the mask use and good skin. And like all things in life, uh, it turns out it's a lot more complicated than I thought. But before I go into how these masks work, what the studies say, and my personal experience with the masks, I thought that now would be a great time to take a, a little break, you know, a breather, to talk about the sponsor of today's video. <laughs> Hello everyone, welcome back to the Integration Corner. I'm very tempted to start calling it the Integration Station. Just cause, I mean, Integration Corner is good, but does it have the same ring as Integration Station? Integration Station, it's fun, it's different, it's a little bit flirty, you know, she's got some pizzazz. Integration Corner, a timeless classic, you know, he's got that legacy, the sentimentality. He is also a corner. It's factually accurate too. Let me know in the comments down below, Integration Station, or integration corner. I take your input incredibly seriously. As you can tell by the glorious bottles stood to my right. Yep, that would be my right. <laughs> I don't know how I'm not failing university. I, it's, it's a mystery to me too. This video is very, very proudly sponsored by Function of Beauty. We didn't scare them away. See, Function of Beauty, you know, she's tempted me. A temptress. She has seduced me into yet another 
set of shampoo and conditioner. And with a little bonus child, I've got a mango scented hair serum. I don't know why I just referred to this small bottle as a child, but it makes sense to me that these would be the parent bottles and this would be the child. If you don't already know, Function of Beauty offer 100% customizable hair care. And I'm not just talking about, you know, customizing the color or the fact that it has your name on the bottle, which is incredibly cool, by the way, incredibly cool. You can customize everything about this shampoo and conditioner, which is incredible because everyone's hair needs different care. So no one shampoo is gonna work for everyone and it doesn't have to. So the way that this all works is that you get to fill in a quiz and I say that you get to because it's a privilege. Quizzes are great fun. I've never met anyone who doesn't like a quiz. The quiz asks you about things like your hair type, your hair structure, what kind of scalp level of moisture you have. So then you choose five hair goals and I chose hydrate, fix split ends, deep condition, strengthen, and anti-frizz. As many of you already know, uh, because of lockdown in the UK, I didn't manage to get my hair cut for about a year. And that resulted in some very sad, dry, <laughs> neglected hair. I chose those goals because I wanted to give my hair the best chance of restoration. We, we were performing a resurrection. You can also choose the color and fragrance of your shampoo and conditioner. So I went for pink and cherry blossom, which is a very soft scent. It makes me feel like a princess. I've been using Function of Beauty since about the beginning of January and I honestly am obsessed with them. They have done so much to restore the health and nutrition into my hair. It feels shiny, it feels strong, and it hasn't felt like that in a really long time. And my favorite part of it all is that Function of Beauty only uses clean ingredients. There are no parabens, sulfates, GMOs, or, or toxins of any kind, and the hair care is 100% vegan and cruelty free. That's pretty incredible. So if you would like to try Function of Beauty for yourself, make sure you click the link in the description down below to receive 20% off your first order. They've done more for my hair in like four months of using it than most of my other shampoos did in many, many years. So <laughs> make sure you click the link in the description down below and you give it a try. Huge thank you again to Function Beauty for sponsoring this video. You're, you're stellar. You're 10 out of 10. Thank you very much. <laughs> Back to the video. Now I need my laptop for this one. I've written notes. My laptop is broken by the way, so <laughs> Please don't skip the uh, the integration corner. <laughs> so the first concern I had about these masks were the safety. I mean, I don't know about you guys, but for me, the idea of putting highly charged, powerful lights directly near my skin was just giving me flashbacks to all the times my mom told me to put on sun cream. But in 2018, the Journal of Clinical and Aesthetic Dermatology actually gave LED light masks an excellent safety rating. So I was like, okay, you know, it's not gonna do a Samsung and blow up. Now, in terms of what these masks actually do is very much dependent on the type of light that each mask has because each spectrum of light targets different things. So for example, red light is said to help boost circulation and also help stimulate collagen production, which can help reduce the appearance of fine lines and wrinkles that occur from aging. Whilst blue light, on the other hand, is said to help target the bacteria that can cause acne and breakouts to occur and to stop that kind of cycle from continuing. There are other types of light though, for example, yellow light is said to help reduce redness across the skin, whilst green light is said to help promote healing and less pigmentation. Now, in terms of finding studies that show that these masks work, I... I had quite a hard time, but that's not because there's not a lot of research into LED light therapy. It's just because there's not a lot of research into LED masks. There is actually a lot of research out there that helps to show statistically significant correlations between certain light types and their supposed outcome. For example, I found a study published in Dermatological Study in March, 2017, that showed that on a sample size of 50 women, the use of red LED light had actually helped to reduce the appearance of fine lines and wrinkles around the eye area. I also found a study from the same time period in the clinics of dermatology and this particular study was actually a meta-analysis of lots of other studies and these studies are generally really useful because they have a much larger pool of data than a singular study does have and in this study they actually found that the use of red and or blue light therapy in the treatment of acne reduced blemishes by 46 to 76 percent after four to two weeks of treatment which is 
really quite good. I will link all of the studies and research that I found in the description down below in case you guys want to check them out for yourself. Now I've kind of gone over the studies that suggest there is, you know, a positive link between using this light therapy and, you know, the appearance of your skin. I kind of want to go over why the light works in the first place. <laughs> Take a shot for every time I say penetrate in the next 15 seconds. Now, particularly with blue light, research has shown that the reason why it works is because of the ability of the light to penetrate into the deeper surfaces of your skin. It can penetrate into your hair follicles and into your pores, can penetrate the bacteria and stop them metabolizing, which kills it essentially. This therefore can stop the bacteria from spreading, from, from multiplying and giving you more spots and more breakouts. Where blue light therapy differs from topical products like spot creams is that a lot of spot creams generally just tend to reduce inflammation and they don't treat the root of the problem because they can't get to it. Now these LED lights have been used in dermatology for a while now and they're usually incredibly powerful. This is where the discrepancy and my skepticism about these home masks comes in. The strength of the light used in a dermatologist's office is insanely high and that's because the equipment they're using is incredibly expensive. Because there's not a lot of standardization with these masks, they might not actually deliver very powerful light at all. And if the light isn't powerful enough, it's, it's gonna do very, very little for your skin. And because not a lot of people know a lot about these masks, it's really quite hard to try and work out what is considered a good quality of light and which masks have it. And even if the light does deliver the, the highest that it possibly can, commercial LED light products aren't as strong as what you're gonna get in a dermatologist's office. So I'm just gonna say now that in many cases, if you are suffering with acne, it may be better to try going to a dermatologist first and having light therapy done with the, the best devices that they can and seeing if it works rather than spending a lot of money on a mask that delivers less power and it still potentially not working. Now, just Despite all of this, I wouldn't be a good researcher if I didn't pay attention to potential downsides. And I did actually find a study that was not really in favor of blue light. A study published in July 2017 in the Free Radical Biology and Medicine Journal suggested that blue light can actually cause free radical damage. And if you don't know what free radical damage is, it essentially can break down the skin structures and lead to increased aging. They didn't, however, draw similar conclusions about other forms of LED light therapy like red or green light. Now, this was only one study that I found that suggested this, but it is really important to pay attention to things like this because although it's only preliminary research it makes the case that more research needs to be done so that we're sure that blue light in its pursuit of treatment for acne isn't actually causing a breakdown in in our skin structure. I just wanted to give you guys as much information I could find about the potential positives and negatives of this light before you know you think about doing it for yourself. I also really quickly want to point out is that if you do have a skin condition like psoriasis or eczema it's really important to talk to your doctor before thinking about pursuing light therapy. Now onto the mask. Now I spent a lot of time researching which mask to get and I did this because they vary so much in price and, and to be honest, I wasn't sure how much I wanted to commit to this video. For example, there's a Dese Pro, which is a LED light mask that you can actually get on Cult Beauty that costs 1,680 pounds. This is a mask that is quite popular with celebrities. I often saw photos of people wearing this particular mask. And the reason why this mask is so expensive is because it harnesses four different types of light. It has red, blue, green, and infrared light. So it's like the full shebang. This mask does it all, which is why it's so incredibly expensive. But, <laughs> you know, I'm gonna need a few more <laughs> functional beauty sponsorships before we can uh, whip that one out. So I instead decided to streamline my search towards the most popular types of light therapy, which are blue and red. And just a quick reminder, red is the one that helps to promote circulation and collagen production, and blue is the one that fights acne. Now the most popular mask in this category is the Dr. Dennis Gross Skincare DRX Spectralite Face Wear Pro. And I don't know why all of these masks seem to have pro at the end. It's like they're trying to like send some subliminal messages. Like I'm not like other LED face masks. I'm a professional. LED face mask. And this mask on Cult Beauty is 430 pounds, which is significantly less painful than the other one, but my god, my my wallet took a took a hit to the face <laughs> with this one. So if you wouldn't mind, you know, giving this video a like, <laughs> leaving a nice juicy comment. 
maybe even potentially subscribing. I would really appreciate it. <laughs> So this mask has three settings, red lights, blue lights, and a combination of both. And you use them for three minutes every day in collaboration with another product of theirs. Because of course, 430 pounds for a light mask isn't enough. I also have to buy another thing that I have to use to maximize my results. So this mask is incredibly popular because it is a medical grade mask, which means that it uses the most powerful light that you, you're allowed to put in, which was what I was looking for really. I wanted the best possible chance for my skin to be flourishing. Now, according to the description of this mask, my results will be visible within two weeks. And according to a Dr. Dennis Gross clinical study, which, you know, is totally unbiased. 97% of the subjects in that trial noticed a visible difference in the appearance of acne, of wrinkles, of skin tone over a 10 week period. Now, as great as it sounds, I tend to be a bit skeptical about the, the results of a study funded by the people who directly benefit by positive results of the study. So we'll take that with a pinch of salt. <laughs> now my plan was to use this mask for two weeks and measure the improvement, if any, in my skin as I went. Now I do just wanna note again that I don't suffer from acne. I suffer from occasional breakouts, but my breakouts aren't that severe compared to what some people go through. But I don't want my insecurity with my skin to make anyone feel worse about how they're feeling with their own. Acne or no acne, you know, spots or no spots, blackheads, no blackheads, scarring, pigmentation, whatever. You are absolutely stunning, just as you are. It's a relief. I'm now regretting shaking it, considering the amount of money that is in this box. Do you think I can send it back after using it? Oh my God. This is an Iron Man cosplay. I'm sorry, guys, you've clicked on the wrong video. This is a, this is, I am Tony Stark. When I was doing research for this video to try and find which face mask to buy, nearly every single website had this ranked as number one. I am wondering though if it's number one because it's so extortionately priced. Because you know, there's a there's a thing in psychology and I can't remember what it's called, but when something is more expensive, people just expect that it is better, whether or not that's, that that's actually the case in reality. Right, I've got it open. Oh my God. I certainly wasn't expecting it to be this shiny. <laughs> oh my God. These little button slider things are literally plastic. They're so cheap feeling and nasty. I would have at least expected, you know, metal, considering the sheer cost of this. Feels like a swimming goggle. A very, very expensive pair of swimming goggles. <laughs> I look like a monkey for some reason. Like a, like a really, <laughs> shiny metal monkey. It's very heavy. I don't know if it can hold itself up. It's not very comfortable, I can't lie. I'm quite disappointed that I paid 400 pounds for this and you know, the bits don't even move. Could have bought a perfect moving part Iron Man head for that. Probably would have had a lot more fun. I feel like the bridge of my nose is slightly hitting this, but I guess it's a, a one size fits most kind of situation. It does have kind of like silicon padding, it feels like on the inside, so that it's not just plastic pressed up against your face or the lights directly pressed up against your face. Okay, so is this like a, is this a charging case? Or does it, does it need to be plugged in? I'm so confused. Where are the instructions? I don't have a clue how, how this works. Uh, oh, there's a button there. That didn't do anything. All I know about this mask is that you have to wear it for three minutes a day. And before you do it, they want you to use this. The Dr. Dennis Gross Alpha Beta Universal Daily Peel. Rolls off the tongue, that. And 30 treatments. I had to buy 30. I needed 14 treatments. But you can't just buy 14. You can buy 10, 30, or 50. Which means I had to buy 30 of these. Do you know how much that was? 89, 99. 89 pounds on this. There is no amount of Alpha, Beta, Charlie, Tango, Echo, Golf nonsense that is gonna make me think that this is worth 90 pounds. That physically pains me. If you fancy helping a girl out, please consider, you know, liking and leaving a comment on this video. 90 pounds. 90 pounds! So I'm gonna use these for the first time tonight and, uh, <laughs> We will see how it goes. I'm not sure it's gonna go in the direction of me seeing how this is worth 500 pounds, but 
I remain optimistic. So it's night time. I've just cleansed my face and we're gonna use the Alpha Beta Universal Daily Peel for the first time. It's very exciting stuff. That right there is, is high quality packet engineering. It's probably why this one, this will cost the big bucks, you know, for that, that very nice mechanism. Oh, the, the lid actually came the whole way off. That wasn't supposed to happen. Okay, I wasn't supposed to pop this open at all. There was a lid here and I just saw a dotted line and so naturally I just pulled it and now, and now the sachets, they're open, they're exposed. What kind of bougie box has like two ways of opening it? How was I supposed to know that? Now I don't have a lid, so I guess, I know this is a small thing, but for some reason it's really bothered me that I now don't have a lid for this box. So there are two sachets. Part one is the exfoliate and smooth, and then part two is the anti-aging neutralizer. At age 22, I'm not sure I'm the prime candidate for the anti-aging <laughs> one of these. Okay, so apparently I have to just keep rubbing this around my face until it, oh, <laughs> when you breathe that in, it does kind of, taste chemical, if that makes sense. Like you feel it in your, in, your, in your chest. It now says that I have to wait two minutes before I put this one on, so I guess I'll just wait. I don't know whether it's just because it's the first time my skin has ever used anything like this, or whether it's just because this is how he makes these products. He thinks, you know, 90 quid, I've got a pack of products in them. Super hardcore. Well, here we are. I have to confess, I haven't actually read the instructions, so there's only one button on it, so I'm just assuming I press that. We'll just see how it how it goes. Okay, press the button and it did nothing. So I have to hold it? Oh, oh. So if you press and hold it, you get the red lights. Press it again, you get the blue lights. And if you press it a third time, you get the combination of red and blue lights. If I'm honest, these look very much like pink and purple to me, but I'm, I, I didn't get to decide their names, so. <laughs> oh my god, that's terrible. This would probably feel relaxing if it weren't for the fact that there's a lot of very bright lights in close proximity to my eyeballs. Something I should have definitely thought through. And we're done, everyone. That was three minutes. Tell you what this does kind of remind me of. If any of you ever took like a GCSE in drama, often they'd give you a mask. You had to put the mask on and pretend you were a different emotion. It was simpler days, simpler times. <laughs> Shout out to my theater kids. Okay, so update, just as I finished recording that, this undid itself and it got thrown <laughs> onto the floor. See that, it's just, the other one's just undone. It's useless. I really hope it still works. If not, oh thank god. Now over the first week, I didn't really notice that much of a difference. I'm gonna be completely honest with you, but I did have a lot of fun feeling like, you know, a B-Tech Iron Man. Something that I really, really should have <laughs> thought about is is getting some protection for my eyes. If you are gonna do this, please get some kind of like eye goggles going on um, because it is really bright. By the end of the first week, I was starting to see a difference. It just looked a bit healthier. My spots weren't that much reduced, but my skin overall did seem to be shining a bit more. I was using the combination of red or blue light for this whole period and I do feel like the red light was potentially starting to do something here, even if I wasn't seeing the massive improvements in my spots that I was hoping to see. By the end of the two weeks, I have mixed feelings. I did notice a difference in my skin. I do feel like my skin looks healthier, has a bit more life to it. There's been some character development. But with my breakouts, I did notice improvements, but if I'm completely honest, they were somewhat marginal. I don't know if it's because I've only been using it for two weeks and this kind of treatment takes longer to work, but the differences in my skin in terms of spots, they were noticeable, but not to the point where I think, that was worth the 500 pounds I spent on this video. <laughs> I personally don't think that the differences are worth the money. But if you are in a position where your insecurities to do with your skin are getting to a point where they are quite crushing, even if it's only a, a minor difference, that could be a lot, you know, in terms of your confidence and self-esteem, in which case it's 100% worth the money. And this is where we get into the whole discussion of privilege and face care. If you are in a position of wealth and you can buy this mask, you may choose to because even though it's only a marginal difference, the money is worth it to you. And there is a reason why a lot of celebrities and influencers have this nice skin and it's 
money because they can afford to, to blow this amount of money on an LED light mask or similar dermatological treatment. LED light therapy isn't affordable to most people, regardless of their skin type. So whether it makes a marginal improvement or a massive improvement, it, it's irrelevant for a lot of people because they can't afford these things to begin with. My hope is that in the next few years, light therapy becomes a lot more popular, which in turn will drive the prices down, making it more affordable to people who don't have the excess income to spend hundreds of pounds thousands of pounds on a light mask that makes only a marginal difference in their skin. Something just to bear in mind when you're looking on Instagram and everyone's got beautiful skin. It's probably Photoshop number one, but if it's not, it's money. So in conclusion, I will not be keeping this mask. <laughs> I will be returning it because for me personally, I don't think it's worth the money for the improvement that it had. You may think differently and I would love to know if you guys have had experiences with LED light therapy of any of the light spectrums um, and what your skin condition was and is like now. Please do let me know in the comments down below. I'm constantly fascinated by your opinions and your experiences. I like the feeling that we're, we're like this little community that actually communicate rather than me just sitting and talking at you for however long. Additionally, if you think anything I've said in this video is potentially incorrect or wrong, or there's a new study that I've missed that completely contradicts something that I've said, please let me know. I, I love learning. Just chuck it at me. I'd love to hear. But overall, LED light masks, good if you don't need the money. I also want to quickly add that light therapy affects different people's skin in different ways. So just because I only had a marginal improvement doesn't mean that you'll only have one. It's just me sharing my experiences with you guys. Please don't take everything I say at the end of the day as gospel because I'm just a woman in a room on her own talking to a camera. That being said, I hope you enjoyed today's video. If you did, feel free to give it a little like. And if you're not already, please consider subscribing. I would love to welcome you to our little internet community. A little group gathering that happens literally once a month because I don't upload. <laughs> Remember to drink some water. Don't forget to hydrate. Very important in this economy. Or any economy, really. You, you actually need water to live. Have a lovely day and I'll see you later. Kisses to your mother.